Good morning, this is Mark Pesci. It is Friday, the 3rd of April, 2020, and this is the next 100 seconds. All right, earlier this week in Australia, we found out that the government's going to invest about $130 billion to basically pay everyone a paycheck who would be laid off otherwise. And so basically to keep us from mass unemployment, we're going to go on some version of universal basic income. That's good. That'll keep the economy ticking along. And now we have a 90-day span of time when we expect the lockdown to sort of be in force in New South Wales and probably throughout the rest of Australia. And people think that things will get a little bit better after that. But... We don't really know, and we won't really know until we can test. Now, yesterday I laid out a program so that we test state by state by state. Start with Tasmania, then South Australia, then WA, then Queensland, and then the two big states. And then we all know that we're clear and we can open up the country again and we can get back to work. We have this 90-day period as this amazing time to actually put that plan into place. So at the end of that 90-day period, not only can we open up the lockdown, we can know that there won't be any reinfections because we've tested everyone. And the thing is, if we invest, say, 1% of the money they're putting up in this program, $1.3 billion, we will be able to build out that testing facility, and we will have it so that if there's another outbreak, we will be able to test again without having to shut the entire country down. So for 1% of the total, we will be able to bring that six-month period in probably by two or three months, saving $60 billion. So we will be able to save half of that money if we do this, if we build the testing facility. So this makes good economic sense and and good public health sense, and that's 100 seconds.